Hello and welcome back to Nicolo Gas. This is your ultimate guide to reading your gas meter. Digital metric meter. The digital or older imperial gas meter is arguably the most common type of gas meter found in UK homes and in terms of reading it's pretty straightforward. To read these types of meters, record the five numbers from left to right including the zeros, but don't include the numbers in red or any numbers after the decimal point. The example on screen shows that your reading would be 7585. Make a note of this and send it to your supplier. Metric refers to the unit of measurement in which the gas is presented, and in this case, it's cubic meters. Now onto digital imperial meters. This is very similar to a digital metric gas meter, except there are four numbers and the unit of measurement is provided in cubic feet. To read these types of meters, write down the first four numbers from left to right and ignore the rest of the numbers shown in red. Make sure to include the zeros, but disregard the red numbers and the dial on the right. As you can see on screen, your meter reading would be 5085. Make a note of this and send it to your supplier. Now onto dial meters. These meters will always measure gas usage in cubic feet. If you're not familiar with these types of meters, then on first glance they can appear very confusing to read, but once you've got your head around how they work and what each dial is displaying, they're fairly simple. To read this type of gas meter, read each dial from left to right, ignoring any dials in red, the large dial, and also any that are marked up as 100 per rev. If the dial hand is resting between two numbers, always go with the lower number. If the hand rests between 0 and 9, always go with 9. And after noting down your meter reading, if any of the numbers are stated as 9, you'll need to take one away from the dial immediately to the left. Pay attention to the way in which numbers run around the face of the dial. Some will run clockwise, others counterclockwise. Generally, the first and third dials will run clockwise, and the second and fourth will run counterclockwise. Depending on which way they run, make sure you read the dial accordingly. So, in this example, the dial meter reading would be 6653. As mentioned before, each dial turns in the opposite direction to the one before it. Before you read your dial meter, check the direction of your dials, as they may not be exactly as shown on screen. Finally, smart meters. If you have a smart meter in your home, or have had any experience with smart meters, you should be familiar with usage requirements. If you don't have a smart meter, then one of the big bonuses of having one is that you don't need to submit any readings as the meter itself does that for you by feeding live updates directly to your supplier. When you get a smart meter installed, you'll also normally get a small portable device with a screen on it. This is called an in-home display. That's all for today's guide. To check out our guide on reading your electricity meter, click here and we'll see you in the next video.